Well, the number four weather event of the year, we turn our attention back to winter. And that was some really heavy snow that fell across uh, much of western Wyoming, as well as the avalanche deaths that occurred up in the mountains. Now, you're wondering why did this occur? One main reason. I'll be right back. Hold on. Well, the main reason why we saw so much snow during the month of February is what's called the Atmospheric River, what used to be called the Fire Hose, what used to be called the Pineapple Express, whatever they're calling it this week. Got to keep changing the name. Got to keep those research grants coming in. Anyway, you can see uh, this is water vapor imagery, just with tracking where the moisture is in the atmosphere. Now, I want you to notice this is looped over about say, about eight or nine days. You see this persistent feed of moisture coming up from Hawaii, and basically just feeding all the way into the West Coast, and then coming into Wyoming, which is right about here. Excuse my uh, drawing ability there. I'm not exactly the best artist in the world, but this moisture just kept slamming into the Tetons, up slopes up against those mountains, and as a result, you get a lot of snow. How much snow? Well, I'm back. We'll start by taking a look at some climatology for how much snow usually falls in Jackson. It's a ski area, so you expect a lot of snow to fall. The average is right around 75 inches. Here's a graph dating back to 1975. Now, all the ones that have numbers over this are when they got 100 inches or more, but I want you to notice, from about 2014 now, we had four years where they got well above average, almost double or more in a lot of cases. Now, the highest amount was just two years ago. That was 196 inches, but 2021? That was the second all-time snowiest February. Look at that, 172 inches right there. So as we look at the all-time snowiest months in Jackson Hole, ranked number three, that's pretty good, 172 inches there. And the all-time was back in 1996, 225 inches. So you get all this snow falling on kind of a crusty underneath. Snow's becoming stable. A lot of these storms were windy as well. A lot of wind blowing these things. You get avalanches, and unfortunately, in the span of a week, we had three avalanche deaths. First one occurred here on the 17th, this is in the Salt Wyoming range to the east of Alpine. Snowboarders saying that went off. Very next day, Togety Pass on the 18th, snowboarders saying that went off. And finally, the 22nd, this one to the west of Moose. Again, snowboarders sending off an avalanche. Three deaths, very tragic. Now, I want to leave you with some safety tips here. I'm not going to read these off. You can read these yourself. But if you want information on avalanche danger, especially when you've had a lot of snow there, that's a great resource right there. The uh, Bridger Teton Avalanche Center, just go to that website right there. Tons of good information there. We work with these people. They're top-notch, so shout out to them for helping keep everybody safe. Number three will be up tomorrow. Any guess what it is? You have to wait and find out.